Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 12, 1990, 85. Having slipped off mask, fins, and snorkel, John and Joe walk toward Courtney, Phil, Kelsey, Justin, and Misty, who lounge on the long bench along the Little Bird's starboard side, the men's eyes sweeping the boat's deck for Lois. Approaching farther, John laughs and says, There you are, my love. I couldn't see you among the giants. Kiss I am dwarfed by Misty here, Lois replies, gently elbowing her before she stands to kiss her husband. But Courtney's not that much bigger than I. True, Courtney says. I'm always the smallest when we six gather, but even though I'm not that much taller than you, you just seem tiny. I'm almost afraid you'll blow away in the breeze. Only if she's old on her umbrella, right, Mary? Joe asks with a cockney accent. Lois smiles, nods, and says, Right you are, Bart. Speaking of tiny, or rather not, John says, Did you guys see those huge sharks? Kind of an eye-opener, that's for sure. Sharks, Courtney asks. No, she adds, elongating the word. I didn't see any sharks, Phil. Nope, just little fishes and lots of coral. How far away? Ten feet, John asks, looking at Joe. Massive, like twenty feet long. Joe says they're nurse sharks and harmless. Really, Courtney replies. And when did you become a alas, alas, mobrancologist, Joe? A who, what, where, Joe asked. A lasmobrancologist, a marine biologist who specializes in sharks, Courtney said with a grin. Wow, Joe said, that's a seven-syllable $1.50 word. I didn't study sharks. Missy and I had the same reaction as John did when we met one of the big boys up Marathon Keyway on our first dive. Scared us, but Doc Richardson said they're harmless. And when I checked once we were back in Hotlanta, turns out he was correct. You studying sharks for kakawawa purposes, or should that be porpoises? Studying is probably too strong a term. Sharks came up when I was doing a project in the Chesapeake Bay. Plenty of sharks up that way. And more dangerous, Misty chimed, at least according to Richardson. Our great, all-knowing, all-telling sage of Delphi, Joe replied, hands pressed together and held beneath his chin. I thought that was Oracle, Kelsey asked. Oracle or no go, gotta go with the flow, Justin said. And speaking of flow, I'm getting a drink. This round's on me, he added as he stood. Funny how everyone's so eager to buy a round when they're already paid for, ain't it, sweetheart? Phil said to Courtney in a terrible imitation of Humphrey Bogart. <laughs>